Spare the Air Bay Area was made possible by the Bay Area Air Quality Management District. Clean air, healthy life. Good morning, San Jose. It's going to be a hot one in the South Bay. Remember, it's another Spare the Air Day, so try to use public transportation and cut back on the driving. So glad that girl went over that guy. Nope, my dad made us turn the TV off early. I didn't get to see who won. Why'd you have to turn the TV off early? Well, since my parents got the bill in the mail, they've been shocked about the amount of energy our family was using. Look at this bill! How are we gonna make this lower? We've gotta make some changes. Since then, it's been less TV, shorter showers, conserve energy this, use less resources that. It's so confusing. That's too bad, dude. Last night's episode was great. Since then, my parents have gone all environmental. What are you guys reading? We're reading environmental books, son. You should sit down and read with us. What's it about? Composting. Oh, yeah. Uh, that sounds great. I gotta go. Like what, Jason? Well, this morning my dad told me to cut my shower short to save water. I love singing in the shower. I'm gonna be a rock star soon. Jason, remember, shorter showers saves water and gas. I know about the need to recycle, but making my shower shorter? Come on. Sounds like your parents are doing their best to help the environment and spare the air, Jason. And they want you to help too. There it is again, that spare the air talk. How is me taking shorter showers going to spare the air? Simple. Ever wonder why the water for your shower gets so warm? Heating water for your shower requires burning natural gas. The burning releases pollutants into the air. Shorter shower means less hot water and less natural gas being burnt. We save water, we save gas. Yeah, Jason. Spare the air days are a great way to fight air pollution during the summer and on really hot days. You know, when it's clear, hot, and not windy, that's when air pollutants get trapped near the ground, which is why it's smoggy. Okay, I get it. But how do you explain my mom telling my little brother? Jeremy, honey, hurry and pick something out because you're letting all the cold air out. Okay, okay. When you open the refrigerator door, cold air from the fridge comes out of the fridge. And warm air from the room goes into the fridge. The refrigerator has to pump all that warm air out in order for it to stay cold. It's all about saving energy, Jason. Yeah. Okay, I get it. But how do you explain this? We're picking up more kids like you guys in the way to soccer practice, so now it takes longer to get to the field. So now I have to get ready sooner. All right, everybody. Come on, get in the car. And don't forget to put your seatbelts on. Carpooling is smarter, Jason. It saves other kids from having their parents drive them into the field. Cars are big polluters. They contribute to lots of smog. Yeah, but even yesterday, when I was late to school, my parents still didn't drive me. They made me run to school. Huh. Yeah, dude, I remember you were pretty wiped when you walked into class. It's just getting really hard trying to adjust to my parents' new rules. They say they're making the planet greener for my future grandkids. What grandkids? I'm in middle school. Jason, don't you remember our field trip to the Tech Museum? We learned all about global warming and why there are spare the air days. Welcome to the Tech. Today we're going to talk about global warming. As you know, over the last 50 to 100 years, the Earth's temperatures have been rising. And scientists have determined that the warming temperatures are related to increases in greenhouse gases that are caused by human activities. In particular, the burning of fossil fuels can release carbon dioxide, which is a heat-trapping gas. And just like at home, when you put a blanket on and you get warmer at night, the Earth's carbon dioxide in the atmosphere acts to trap the Earth's heat. And that's responsible for keeping the planet nice and warm. 
But for example, if you were to put 10 blankets on tonight, you'd be a lot warmer than you were normally. Well, the same thing with the Earth. If we have a lot more greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, that causes the planet to be extra warm. These changes that we've seen over the last 50 to 100 years is what we call global warming. Yes? How is this going to affect us? Well, the way that Earth's temperature rise affects us is that it's going to cause sea levels to rise. It's also going to cause changes in weather patterns. So we expect to see more droughts and more flooding. And we also expect to see changes in where we have access to water and where we can grow crops. And these are all things that are obviously very important for us. So these changes that we see happening right now are something that we really want to study quite carefully. Yes? How can we help reduce global warming? Well, good question. And there's lots of things we can do to help reduce global warming. But the center idea behind it is to reduce the amount of energy that's being used. So reducing the amount of uh, fuel you use in, in terms of your automobile, reducing electricity, and also reducing waste. Yeah. What about recycling? Recycling is something that's obviously very important because when you recycle a glass or a plastic or tin or aluminum, you don't have to go and reproduce the new raw materials that take a lot of energy to make. So anytime you recycle paper, for example, they don't have to cut down a tree, they can use recycled paper, and that's going to reduce the amount of heat trapping gases that go into the atmosphere. What else can we do to help? There's lots of other things you can do to help. Instead of driving a car, you can ride a bicycle, you can walk. Those are ways that you can save gas. At home, you can try to reduce the amount of electricity being used. Turn off the TV and computer when they're not being used. Or even take a shorter shower. Because taking a shorter shower not only reduces the amount of water that you use, but it also reduces the energy that's required to heat the water. And that's going to reduce the carbon footprint. Finally, you might even think about planting a garden. Because if you were to plant and grow some tomatoes this summer, then a factory that was growing tomatoes wouldn't have to grow them, package them, and transport them to the grocery store and transfer them to your home. So again, you'd be reducing the carbon footprint there. Geez, Jason, even your parents know something about protecting the environment, and they didn't even go on the field trip. I guess so. Oh, wait, I get it. Burning fossil fuels makes the energy to heat my showers, but all that carbon dioxide released is adding to global warming. Yeah. Maybe you guys are right. Of course we're right. We're all going to want a cleaner and healthier planet and good air in the future. So we need to do what we can right now, every day. Not just on Spray the Air Days. Hey guys, check out the Ecology Hub. They're like superheroes saving the planet. Yeah, superheroes. The Eco Squad is here to save your future, to show you ways to save water and energy, recycle and reduce your carbon footprint. Eco Squad, time to save the planet. Let's go! Compact fluorescent light bulbs, or CFL bulbs, use 75% less energy than incandescent light bulbs. Turning your thermostat down in the winter and up in the summer is one of the easiest ways to conserve electricity and natural gas. Another way to save electricity is to turn off the lights when you leave the room. If one of your chores is to water the yard, then do it in the early morning so that there won't be so much evaporation from the sun and wind, leaving more water for the plants. Here's more about water. Did you know that by using your own water containers, you can keep the plastic out of the landfill? A lot of people don't recycle their bottles, so it's better to use filtered water like this. People in the U.S. throw away 2.5 million plastic bottles per hour. Only 27% of bottles are recycled. That means the rest goes to landfill. Those little bottles are big polluters. And try to recycle newspaper, paper, and plastic. Or use it over if you can. Let's see if my family can handle it. By making less products, we'll save energy, water, and raw materials. And recycling keeps stuff from getting thrown away. One ton of recycled paper pulp saves 17 trees, 7,000 gallons of water, and 390 gallons of oil. It's the barbecue scene. Let's see if Nicole can handle it. Uncle Josh, do you know it's a spare the air day and you shouldn't be using lighter fluid for the barbecue today? What, why is that? 
Well, barbecue fluid has high levels of hazardous materials that are harmful to human health. Well, so we can't barbecue on Spare the Earth Days? Yeah, you can, but it's not good to use lighter fluid. How about using a charcoal briquette starter like this? My dad showed me how to do it, but you'll have to light it for me. Alright, well show me how it's done. Here. You put some old news sticker in the bottom and pump it up. And then a cat starter on top. Then, you pour in the charcoal briquettes. Up to about here. That's good. And you light it and let it burn until it turns white. That makes so much sense. Mission accomplished! Yum. I'll take a hot dog. Tyler's daydream ink. Are you guys gonna join or what? Yeah, sure. What Sign are you gonna do? Sign us up. So tell us about your people club. What are you guys gonna do? Cycle? Oh, I love the cycle. Beep. Hi, Mom. I'm home. Mm. Wanna go outside and play some soccer? No, Jason, play with my cars. Well, if you're playing with your cars, then you should turn the TV off. Well, I guess. Why, Jason? Because it's important that we conserve energy. I've been learning all about this in science class. We have to do whatever we can every day to make a healthier and greener planet. Remember what Mom and Dad told us about saving energy and making our electric bill lower? Come on, I'll show you. See, look. Last month we used 636 kilowatt hours, but this month we used 571 kilowatt hours. What's the difference? Well, that means we're using less energy, and Mom and Dad don't have to pay so much. So we're helping save energy and make a cleaner planet. It's not just about the money, you know. Cool. You want to go outside and play some soccer? Okay. I'll meet you outside. Take your water bottle out with you. Just to let you know, I do listen in science class. We can do a lot of things to help the environment and improve the Bay Area's air quality. We can reduce the amount of resources that we use at home and at school. We can recycle and reuse things. Save energy by turning down the thermostat. Shorter showers and using water bottles from home and watering the yard in the morning will help save water and energy. Walking, riding your bike, or skateboarding and even barbecuing smarter will put less carbon into our air. You might not see a lot of changes right now, but over time, this will help the environment and make the air and water cleaner for everything that lives on Earth. You could be part of the Eco Squad at school or at home. Or you can even be a one-person Eco Hero. Come on, let's go! Wait, there is more. Let's get ready to recycle. Reduce, reuse, and don't forget to recycle.
the Air Bay Area was made possible by the Bay Area Air Quality Management District. Clean air, healthy life.